Psalm 62 verse 5. Zaburi 62 na mbili na msari wa 5. My soul wait thou on me upon God. Ah moyo wangu umsubi umgoje bwana. For my expectation is from him. Maana matarajumaini langu hutoka kwake. So serve God in him alone. Mtumikie Mungu na yeye peke yake. The Bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied that hastens after another god. Yesema huzuni zao zitaongezeka wanaokimbia kuwa kuabudu miungu wengine. Psalm 16 and verse 4. Zaburi 16 na mstari wa 4. The Bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied. Huzuni zao zitaongezeka. That hasten after another god. Waambadilio Mungu kwa mwingine. May your sorrows not be multiplied. Huzuni zako ziziongezeke. Actually from today may you be free from every form of sorrow. Kusema kweli kuanzia leo uwe huru kutokana na huzuni. There are people who come to church. Na watu ambao huja kanisani. With charms na hirizi around their waist wakiwa wamejifunga kwa viuno around their ankles kwa kwa viuno vya is what is that au unauliza hiyo ni nini is for protection hii ni ya kunilinda i was given by my grandmother nilipewa na nyanya yangu i was told never to remove it na nikaambiwa nisiwahi kuitoa that is that is foolishness uoni upumbavu the highest order wa kiwango cha juu sana you can't mix God. Hawezi mchanganya Mungu and Satan at the same time. Na shetani kwa wakati mmoja. Today Sunday you are Sunday. Leo ni Sunday na unakaa kijumapili. Tomorrow. Na kesho you are the first person to meet a witch doctor. Ni wewe utakuwa wa kwanza kupatana na mchawi ama mganga. Ka kwenye kila kichaka. For your business. Adio biashara ya juu ya biashara yako. For your marriage. Kwa sababu ya doa yako. And for you to be rich. Ndio wewe utajirike. A witch doctor that has never succeeded to be rich. Amganga ambaye hajawahi kufaulu kuwa tajiri. He lives in the bush. Anaishi kwa kule kichakani. And he want to make you rich. Na unataka akufanye tajiri. And you are running there. Na unakimbia pale. What kind of foolishness? Huo ni upumbavu wa aina gani? If you have ever gone to a witch doctor you need to repent. Kama ushaenda kwa mganga yeyote unastahili kutubu. You need to repent. Unastahili kutubu. I went to Dodoma and I found that that was a norm. It was a norm. It was Yenda kule Dodoma nikaona ule ndio ulikuwa mtindo wa maisha. Before a woman gives birth. Kabla mama azae, they pass through a witch doctor and they are going to be given some leaves. Wanaenda wanapitia kwa mganga ndio wapewa majani fulani. To apply their bellies. Waweze kupaka kwenye tumbo zao. To avoid misfortunes during delivery. Akuzuia mabaya wakati wa kuzaa. And these people are coming to church. Na hawa watu wanakuja kanisani. They think that it is a normal way. Wanaefia wanaona hiyo ni waida ya maisha until they receive the light of god mpaka wakati walipokea nuru ya neno i told them their sorrow shall be multiplied that hastens after another god nikawaambia huzuni zao zitaongezeka wanaofuatana na miungu wengine na mungu wengine most of them they burnt them wengi wengi wao walivichoma they destroyed them wakaharibu hizo hirizi praise the name of the lord hallelujah and that's how their lives were free na hivyo divyo walifunguliwa Their lives were free. Maisha yao yakafunguliwa. Unachangaa mtu anazaa mtoto ambaye ni kiwete, mtoto ambaye sijui <laughs> ashikanishi mambo amekatu is because of this curses this altars that people are following through. Kwa ni hii ni kwa sababu ya madhabahu ambayo watu wanafuatana nayo. It's good to be careful. Ni vizuri kuwa mwangalifu. If you serve God and him alone. Ah uh, utumikia Mungu na yeye peke yake. Everything that he gives you is perfect. Kila anachokupatia kimefaa na kime kiko sawa. And I'm not saying that those children which were are born in those kind of conditions is because of that. No. Na sijasema kwamba wale ambao wamezaliwa katika hiyo hali ni kwa sababu ya hiyo. But in most cases those things trigger if you hasten after another god. Lakini mara kwa mara ukifuatana na miungu wengine huwa inaleta hayo. It will trigger inaleta hayo so be warned and be, be take caution ah uh, pata hilo onyo na uweze, uweze kuwa mwangalifu can i hear your amen sema amen why are we saying so kwa nini kwa nini tunasema hayo is because a covenant to serve god ni kwa sababu agano la kumtumikia mungu without denouncing other gods bila kukana miungu wengine cannot secure the future we desire haiwezi ikatuhifadhia maisha ambayo tunayatamani cannot secure 
the settlement we desire. Haiwezi ikatuhifadhia kitulizo ambacho tunatamani kupata. You want to be settled. Unataka kuimarishwa. Denounce any other god. Yawakane miungu wengine wote.